This episode was requested by my patron, Nikki Marie. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about passive posting versus god modding. So I've talked about both of these in my Annoying Habits videos, but those are really old at this point. So what I want to do is kind of a redo on those two concepts, really hone in and focus on them across one continuum of role play experiences people tend to have. So on one end, we have passive posting. And on the other end, we have god modding. Both of these are not good. So let's talk about them, what they are, and why we want to avoid either end of that spectrum. God modding is taking control of another player's character. This is super frowned upon. When it comes to roleplay, you control your character and no one else's. For some role plays, sometimes the environment and setting are free reign, or sometimes those are controlled by like an admin or a game master. Same thing with NPCs. Sometimes NPCs are free reign, or sometimes they are controlled by an admin or a game master, and then every once in a while you have NPCs that are specific to certain people that control them. But what is never in your control is other players' characters. On the far end of god modding, we have things like my character throws a punch at your character and then I describe that that broke your character's jaw. We never do that. Describing the jaw breaking is up to the player for the character that got hit. Another example is me stating your character's thoughts. Maybe my character is flirting with your character, and I describe that your character swooned and is starting to develop feelings for my character. Don't do this. It's not up to me if my character's flirting is working. It's up to the player and the character of the other person. God modding is so frowned upon that typically groups or even individual one-on-one -on -one role players will have specific rules against god modding. You'll see rules like no god modding, metagaming, or power playing. And if you guys are interested in a little bit of a deeper dive into what power playing and metagaming is, let me know down below. I can make separate videos on those particular terms. However, despite this, sometimes light god modding is allowed. For example, say our characters are putting together an IKEA bookshelf together and your character hands mine the Allen wrench. It is totally acceptable to assume that my character grabbed the Allen wrench from yours. If it's reasonable to assume and the god modding is not going to drastically affect the other person's character, typically that's allowed. And also typically, the more comfortable two people are role-playing together, the more god modding they will allow between each other. So an example for me, I would never allow somebody to write how my character feels. However, if we have a fight scene that's plotted between me and another player that I've been role-playing with for a while, and you know, we've kind of decided how the fight is basically going to go and some major points in it, then I'm totally okay for them to describe the broken jaw before I do. However, just because I let it happen with somebody I'm comfortable with doesn't mean anyone can do that type of god modding with me. So don't think because you see two people god modding each other and not arguing about it that that means you are allowed to god mod with either of those two people. If there's any doubt, as usual with this type of advice, ask. We are role players, which means we are writing all the time. So we got to remember to use our words out of character as well as in character. Simply asking will help you avoid god modding because no one wants to realize they god modded or be accused of god modding. On the opposite end of the spectrum from god modding, we have passive posting. So if god modding is taking control of another person's character, Passive posting is being a roleplay pillow princess and not doing anything that affects what actually happens in the roleplay. For example, if the roleplay is set up so that anyone can control the NPCs or the environment and you never do that, you might be passive posting. If your character says yes to literally everything other characters propose to them, you might be passive posting. If you never write anything that moves a thread to a conclusion, you might be passive posting. 
So passive posting is the role play equivalent to saying, I don't care what we have for dinner, honey, whatever you want. And no one likes that. It's easy to think, well, I don't want to take control. I don't want to offend them with something I write. I don't want to be accused of God modding. I know what that is and I'm making sure I avoid it. But whatever the reason, instead of frustrating your partners like God modding tends to do, what you're doing when you passive post is boring your partners, which I would argue is worse. So how do you fix it? If your characters are having a conversation, make sure that you not only respond to what the other character said, but that you add something to move the conversation forward. Maybe ask a question or propose a thought that hasn't occurred yet in the conversation or take the conversation and turn it in a different direction. Above all, don't simply answer the other player's question and not add anything on top of that. That's passive posting. You've given your partner nothing to respond to and they might get bored. If you're doing a fight scene, don't have a character just block and dodge. No one wants to watch a fight where one fighter keeps advancing and the other one just keeps blocking and dodging. That is so boring. Get hit, hit back, give the fight stakes and excitement. I made a whole video about action scenes, so I'll link that up in the cards so you can get more information on my thoughts with making a fight scene exciting. If you're writing a romantic or sexual scene, don't make the other character do all the work. What I mean is, don't just kiss back. Escalate the situation. Or throw cold water on it and stop it entirely, whatever makes sense for the narrative. The point is, no one wants to go to bed with a pillow princess. Just like a fight scene where all you do is block and dodge, that's boring. Okay, so if god modding is too aggressive and passive posting is too, well, passive, then what is it that we want to be doing? We should be hitting that sweet spot of being assertive. We should be responding to what the other person wrote, then adding our own, all while working towards some kind of progress or conclusion. And that's what makes a reply not fall too far into either of those camps. So is this easy? No, you're not gonna get it right with every reply or with every partner or anything like that. But like everything, with practice, you can get better and better so that you are less and less often falling to either of those extremes. So that is what god modding is, that is what passive posting is, and why you shouldn't fall to either of those two extremes and instead try to do something a little bit more assertive and in the middle. So what did you guys think? Have you been a god modder or passive poster in the past? I know I have fallen to both extremes and I would be really curious to hear down below you guys' experiences. Um, or if you're currently doing either of those extremes and you're trying to stop, did this help? Let me know all of that down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.